What is consciousness? How does the gray matter inside our skulls give rise to the feeling of being, the subjective experience of the world around us? These questions have puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries, and we still don't have definitive answers. Could it be that we've been looking at it all wrong? What if, instead of generating consciousness, our brains are receivers, tuning into something far grander than ourselves? This idea, while seemingly radical, has been gaining traction in certain scientific circles. It challenges the traditional view of the brain as the sole creator of consciousness, proposing instead that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe, like gravity or electromagnetism. Our brains, in this view, are not the originators of consciousness, but rather intricate antennas, picking up and processing this universal signal. This concept resonates with ancient wisdom traditions that have long spoken of an interconnected cosmos and a universal life force. Now, cutting-edge science, particularly in the fields of neuroscience and quantum biology, is starting to provide tantalizing clues that might support this ancient intuition. To understand this new perspective, we need to move beyond the purely materialist view of the brain. Enter the realm of quantum physics, where particles can be in multiple states and connections exist across distances. The orc or theory by Penrose and Hameroff suggests consciousness arises from quantum computations in microtubules. These computations tap into a fundamental field of consciousness permeating the universe. Our brains act like receivers, each tuned to a unique frequency, picking up a portion of this vast sea of awareness. But how exactly could our brains, these biological organs made of flesh and blood, interact with a realm as seemingly esoteric as quantum fields? The answer might lie in the very building blocks of life itself. Quantum biology, a burgeoning field of study, is uncovering the crucial role that quantum mechanics plays in living systems. Far from being a realm of cold, sterile equations, Quantum phenomena are turning out to be essential for life's processes. Photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy, has been shown to rely on quantum coherence, where particles exist in multiple states simultaneously, allowing for incredibly efficient energy transfer. Bird navigation, too, seems to utilize quantum entanglement, where particles become linked and influence each other instantaneously regardless of distance, to navigate across vast distances with incredible precision. If such delicate quantum processes operate in the natural world, is it so far-fetched to believe that our brains, the most complex structures we know of in the universe, might also utilize these mechanisms? Could microtubules, the tiny structures within our brain cells be acting as quantum computers, processing information from the universal field of consciousness. Section 4. Entangled Minds. Evidence from the Fringe. While the idea of the brain as an antenna for universal consciousness is still on the fringes of mainstream science, some intriguing studies suggest that something beyond our current understanding might be at play. Near-death experiences, for example, where individuals report vivid experiences of consciousness while their brains are clinically inactive, challenge our conventional understanding of the brain-consciousness relationship. Could these experiences be glimpses into the universal field of consciousness, accessed when the brain's physical limitations are momentarily overcome? Another area of exploration is the realm of psychic phenomena, such as telepathy and precognition. While often dismissed as pseudoscience, these phenomena, if proven valid, could lend credence to the idea of a universal field of consciousness that we are all interconnected to. Studies in quantum entanglement where the thoughts or emotions of one individual seem to influence the physiological state of another distant individual, further blur the lines of our perceived separation. While these studies are often met with skepticism, 
They highlight the limitations of our current scientific models and encourage us to remain open to possibilities beyond our current understanding. Section 5. Pioneers of the Unknown, Mapping the Territory of Consciousness. The exploration of consciousness as a universal phenomenon is a journey into uncharted territory, requiring a radical shift in our scientific paradigms. Pioneers in this field like physicist Amit Goswami, neuroscientist Karl Pribram and psychiatrist Stanislav Grof have dedicated their lives to bridging the gap between science and spirituality, proposing models of consciousness that embrace both the material and the immaterial. These researchers emphasize the importance of subjective experience which has long been ignored by mainstream science. They argue that understanding consciousness requires not just analyzing brain activity, but also exploring the nature of awareness itself, the first-person perspective that defines our existence. Their work, often controversial and challenging, pushes the boundaries of our current scientific understanding and encourages us to explore the mysteries of consciousness with open minds and a willingness to embrace radical new ideas. Section 6. A Universe of Shared Experience If the brain is indeed an antenna for universal consciousness, the implications are profound. It suggests that we are not isolated beings, confined to our individual minds, but rather interconnected nodes in a vast web of consciousness. The separation we perceive between ourselves and the world, between self and other, dissolves in this view. We are all part of a single unified field of experience. This interconnectedness has profound implications for how we understand ourselves and our place in the cosmos. It suggests that compassion, empathy and love are not just abstract ideals but fundamental expressions of our shared consciousness. Acts of altruism in this light become acts of self-recognition for in helping others we are ultimately helping ourselves. This perspective also sheds new light on the nature of reality itself. If consciousness is fundamental, then the universe is not a cold, indifferent void, but a living, breathing entity, imbued with awareness at its very core. We are not just observers in this cosmic dance, but active participants, our thoughts, emotions and actions rippling through the fabric of existence. Section 7. Shifting Perspectives, Reimagining Our Place in the Cosmos The brain as an antenna for universal consciousness could revolutionize our understanding of who we are. This shift in perspective has the potential to reshape our relationship with ourselves, each other, and the planet. It invites us to recognize the profound unity that binds us all. Perhaps the greatest journey is inward, into the depths of our own being.